think in early cinema, when they first experienced moving pictures, they were almost scared. They didn't know what to think. It was like, is this actually happening? So fast forward to present day, and people are accustomed to seeing anything happen. That's what was exciting about Vox was, I think, actually being able to create a physical world that people could actually walk into and see that was mysterious. This is a groundbreaking piece. You know, this is something that no one in the world has ever done before. And we had done it with such care and, and such crafts. And so something to see so refined and polished. This is a, a huge give to the community to see what's possible mixing design, storytelling, and, and technology. I'd always kind of wanted to try projection mapping for a while. As soon as I got involved with robotics, I realized that there was opportunity to apply projection mapping to moving objects. It's kind of projection mapping on moving objects from a technical standpoint, from an aesthetic and conceptual standpoint. It's a story about the principles of magic and illusionary. I like the simplicity of like the really basic magic tricks, just a coin, a dove, a tablecloth. All these tricks were referenced and put into a graphic language for the project. I think there's like 10 principles of magic. We chose five. The transformation, felt it was good to intro on that and to show one canvas, transforming and changing its structure. And uh, levitation was the second one, which is, you know, the canvases start to levitate and then showing the levitation of objects through the canvas from one to the other. Intersection was the third concept. Going off of that principle, we wanted to put the canvases together and then figure out how the graphic shapes could extrude out of it to fake depth and volume. Teleportation is pretty obvious, you know, magicians teleporting from one end of the stage to the other, so we wanted to do that with graphic shapes and then kind of evolve the graphic shapes throughout that section. You know, escape, we wanted to have him abducted by the geo, by the canvases, and then to escape to salvation. The intention is for it to be one seamless experience. On set, there's two large industrial robots, each holding a four by eight foot canvas. Bot and Dolly created a way for animators in Maya to control a robot. And we call it BD Move. We can control just a canvas or a plane in Maya. We can animate the path that the canvas takes and an algorithm determines every rotation on each joint of the robot. I start in CG with creating a flat render and then project that out back into the physical world to create an installation that can be experienced in a room physically. We would kind of work out the robotic moves first and kind of figure out like what is the relationship between these two canvases. You know, sometimes we'd have you know, a canvas over another canvas, so we'd obviously want to make objects pass from one canvas to the other. We kind of combined the illusionary of projecting on moving objects and creating depth and spatial, you know, spatial relationships with a thematic design that was you know, founded on optical art. G-Monk and I both share a love for op art. His imagination is really expansive, so combining that with the technology that we have at Bot and Dolly, we were able to pull this project off. The biggest design challenge was just learning how to work with these four by eight canvases that are in motion and coordinated motion. It took me a few months to wrap my head around that because I'm more of a traditional graphic designer. I mean, no one's ever done this before, right? And so that was the biggest hurdle for me. Ideally, we would have everyone come and just experience it in the room. The reason we decided to make a film was just to get it out there and let the widest audience see Box. We wanted the camera movement to feel like just a spectator walking through the room. In order to do that, we used motion capture. We had a person watch box and move around and we tracked their motion and then applied it to the camera in Maya, which then gets exported to our robot scout holding the camera. There already is a lot of sound in the room. You hear the motors on the robots hear the actual massive robot moving. The sound design was necessary to make all of the graphic illusions that we were producing feel equally real. I don't know where the future of filmmaking is heading. Hopefully we'll be doing a lot more work that isn't just pure CG, that we're shooting things practically with 
miniatures and people and mechanical contraptions. I think the more live action that we can use in filmmaking, the better. Shooting something with a camera allows you to make mistakes and turn them into something that's even more interesting than what could be planned. Thank you.